All my life I've had a deep love of music. I remember when I was about five years old beginning piano lessons. And I remember as I went through school beginning to advance to pieces like Bach inventions. And then in ninth grade I began studying the organ. And the organ music of Bach so filled me with joy that I decided in, during high school that I wanted to be a professional musician. And so it was particularly fortunate for me in 1988 to become the music director of one of the biggest Lutheran churches in Baltimore. And when I went to that church, they told me that they had an outreach program designed specifically to present concerts to the community. And they asked me what I might be interested in doing. It took me all of about five seconds to say I wanted to do a series of concerts of the music of Bach and present them to the community at large. For some years preceding that, I'd had the honor and privilege of studying with the first person in the world who had recorded the complete works of Bach. His name was Helmut Rilling, and he was the music director of the International Bach Academy in Stuttgart, and also ran a very, very highly regarded program at the University of Oregon called the Oregon Bach Festival every summer. And having studied with him and gotten very, very interesting insights into the Bach's Box cantatas, I was very excited with the idea of being, being able to represent that music to here in Baltimore. So in 1988, we started. I had some wonderful professional singers in my choir. We, I was in a beautiful church, and I was, from the very first concert, we began hiring the finest players in the Baltimore area, some members of the Baltimore Symphony and others the distinguished high-level freelancers in the community. For me, it was a particular interest to unlock the secrets for the public of the cantatas of Bach. So even at that very first concert, we talked about the things within the music that taken together became an almost commentary on the music that Bach put on top of the music. And I found that mentioning those things and having the orchestra and the singers and the choir demonstrate them deepened the appreciation of the audience for the music of Bach. That was in 1988 and in those very earliest days all the concerts were at First English Lutheran Church in Midtown Baltimore near Johns Hopkins. The first concerts were given on, on various dates depending on what was convenient in the calendar and we quickly began to build an audience. In fact, within less than a year, we were putting chairs in the aisle to accommodate the people who were coming to hear the concerts. And so from those beginnings, Bach and Baltimore grew, adding more concerts, opening it up to members of the community at large, and eventually becoming what the series is today. I'm really honored and touched when I think about how the group has grown over the years and what a great good fortunate thing it was to be given in 1988 an opportunity to begin and design a concert series that has grown into what Bach in Baltimore is and continues to be today. <laughs>